For all your NRG innovation product needs, make sure you check out driveenergy.com. That's D-R-I-V-E-N-R-G.com. What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. I'm Evil Rabbit here on Forza Horizon 3 in my V8 converted S13. So, first of all, I want to let you guys know, unfortunately, Hamster and I did not qualify for ESDA Round 2. Um, it was not a... Uh, not too happy with my run scores but unfortunately they are what they are and uh, I feel like the scores were not that close together and apparently somebody uh, knocked over a trash can so we are here on Forza Horizon 3 just to get a little bit sideways in our S13 definitely want to get back into Horizon 3 and uh, see if we can actually still drift in Horizon 3 we just did me a matte gray V8 S13 but one of the main reasons I wanted to come to you guys today was talk to you guys a little bit about things to come to the channel as well as ask you guys, did you guys like the live stream uh, I did with the ESJ qualifying and uh, practice beforehand? Or would you prefer if I didn't do that and I just made a video out of it? Or did you prefer the you know live stream, being able to talk and you know chat and comment and see the qualifying runs as it happens? I had a lot of fun doing the live stream, so let me know what you guys think, if you guys enjoy it, if you guys missed it, if you want to check it out, it is saved on the channel, so you guys can check out the live stream uh, replays, uh, apparently I can still get it in this S13, so the other thing I want to talk to you guys about is um, a while back I wanted to do a drift, basically, championship here on Forza Horizon 3, and uh, with ESDA and Forza 7, I don't want to do anything on Forza 7, you know, kind of copy off the SDA in a sense so but I've been planning on doing a drift competition in Forza Horizon 3 until 4 comes out so what I am planning on doing is doing the EVL drift invitationals and it will be an invite only to a little drift competition we're going to start it off with a great eight battle um, and then maybe depending on how many people enjoy it maybe move it up to the top 16 but Basically, what we will do is we'll run certain sections, whether it be out on the street with uh, traffic glitched out, or in the parking lot, lead and chase tandem battles, just like ooh, FD and a couple of lobbies I've done before. I totally forgot I was uh, not. Oh, that guy just died. <laughs> we were not online, so uh, there's drive guitars on here. So, but lead and chase style tandem competition, uh, grade eight battle, but. There will be no qualifying, it will be all brackets will be chosen by uh, random draw for bracket position. It will be, like I said, it will be an invite only. I'll send it like out to the people who are going to be in the first one. It will be myself and a few members of Team Little Rabbit and some four, and you know, four or five other individuals that I will send messages to. Uh, the rules for the cars are going to be, there, are going to be uh, kind of like FD style, we're just taking everything out. FD style. Um, when it comes to uh, tires with based on weight of car as well as uh, power restrictions so i will post all those rules up very shortly i do have a, a list of rules going on with uh, mandatory mods we died mandatory mods since cars are required to have like sports tires and roll roll cage as well as you know a power band between 500 and 600 horsepower to keep the cars more of a street style car rather than just going out you know thousand some horsepower since some of the sections will be on the street I figured a lower horsepower um, drifting competition will be a lot more fun and the tandems will probably be a lot closer so if you guys want to be a part of the invitational you know comment down below if you guys want to see the invitational drift event on the channel also let me know uh, as well as uh, game of drift will be coming back to the channel as well we're just uh, shredding the streets right now. This car is uh, at, I believe, 600 horsepower exactly, or 598 horsepower, or something on those lines, V8 swap. So the other rules that would be in the competition would be such as door placards, which I do have on the side, which you'll be able to download for the uh, gamer tag and such on the side, just like FD or the SDA. Uh, the reason I'm doing F4s on Horizon 3 is I want to make it separate from ESDA. I don't want it to, you know, conflict with ESDA or, you know, seem like it's trying to be a knock with ESDA. I've been wanting to do a tandem style competition on the channel for a very long time. Um, 
and it was on Horizon 3 as well because we did a, a couple mock, uh, a couple mock runs of uh, a tandem battle with some of the EDL members, and it was a lot of fun. We had a lot of close battles, and I believe it'd be a lot of fun to actually do this and you know send some invites out to some uh, drivers I know that can get doors, as well as some drivers who I have never got a chance to drive with. That would be sweet to get a chance to see how they drive and see how they slide with others. As well as I'm going to be doing open lobbies and such coming in the near future. Definitely going to be wanting to get back to the Horizon 3 a little bit more. As well as Hamster and I will be modifying our cars and heading on practice for Monza. I believe it's Monza as well, 3. So, like I said guys, definitely uh, super excited about this. Been working with some of the Team EBL members uh, to uh, get some rules in place and like I said once I have all the rules in place here in the near future probably the next day or so I will be letting the rules out to the public so if you want to be a part of the Invitational I believe I already have my the eight drivers selected for the first one but depending on how many people want to be a part of it maybe this you know once a week or something like that depending on how many people I got and maybe turn it into the top 16 um, and maybe turn it into, like I said, a top 16, uh, you know, eight round competition with points and such like that. But it'd be just something fun to get back into. Went to the wrong gear. Get back into Horizon 3 and getting tanned and getting doors because, you know, Horizon 3 is uh, something I've been away from for a while and want to get back into it because it's a lot of fun. And with Horizon 4 coming around the corner, hopefully in September. Definitely going to want to get back into the open world driving. Um, having a lot of fun in Forza 7 with ESDA. I feel like I'm becoming a better driver with doing ESDA. And, uh, you know, it's definitely a lot of a lot of fun to be had with that. We're going to head up to uh, one of the drift zones. See if we can uh, get some drift points up in here since uh, I feel like my drifting here is actually not too bad. So I did move my wheel setup to the other room. I have a bigger monitor. As you can see, there's a lot bigger monitor. Camera angle's a little bit different. Still trying to get all the settings and everything set. But like I said, if you guys want to see more of the live streams um, of ESDA or just live streams in general, let me know down in the comment section down below. Do you guys prefer the live streams or do you prefer you know daily content upload? You know, let me know because if you guys prefer like live streams, I can uh, work on doing. You know, a few live streams a week, you know, with set times and such. Along with the daily uploads. Probably should be doing this online so there's no drive cars, but... This car definitely rips, for sure. Ooh, I don't want to hit him. So, let me know what you guys think about what you guys want to see on the channel, because I will be bringing Forza 7. As well as Horizon 3, probably some Corsa, and some other games that are not driving related, maybe other driving related games. So, as I said, let me know what you guys think and what you guys feel you would like to see more going forward. Um, I know my uploads have been lax recently, but there's been a lot of things going on with uh, getting uh, wedding preparations and plans and getting things put for my, for my wedding next year. Head of the curve and get everything all squared away so there's been some uh, time spent you know with family and trying to get things figured out and such so we are back and i believe we should be good to be back on a normal upload schedule so like i said if you guys want to see normal upload schedule as well as live streams let me know down in the comment section down below i think we're going to rip this uh mountain circuit down one more time before we end this short episode off just a little bit of an update episode for you guys got some updates coming to the wheel setup as well here very shortly with the fact that it has been moved into a bigger room I'm gonna be doing uh, the sequential shifter from my other g920 shifter that is broken we're going to be making a sequential shifter mod out of that so that I can run a quick sequential mod box in say a rally game and or even on Forza Horizon 3, and, or in a set of Corsa, since I don't have paddles back there, I can run that in a set of Corsa, and run the cars that have paddles that make you run paddles. I'm surprised I missed that guy. So until next time, guys, you can follow me on Facebook, Twitch, Twitter, and Instagram, all of the in the description box below. And uh, as always, I thank you guys for watching. I'm Evil Rabbit.
and I'm out.